All right, we are less than three weeks away from the total solar eclipse. It's going to be the last one in this part of the Midwest for several hundred years. And hundreds of thousands of people are expected to flock to southern Illinois to watch it all happen. But while our eyes are on the sky, one researcher at Southern Illinois University is going to have his eyes online. Ropu Lee is an associate professor of geography and environmental resources at Southern Illinois University. He's going to use the eclipse to study tourism in smaller communities where not a lot of data exists. And he joins us now here on The Current. Ropu, thank you so much for being here with us. I wanted to start with the last solar eclipse in 2017. How did you use social media data to look at tourism patterns? It seems like oh, he sorry. might. Oh, okay, was... there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I mute, sorry. You're all uh, good. So first of all, you know, I would say Carbondale area is in the crossroad of a two total solar eclipse. Yeah, probably the only place around the world. So because, you know, during the last solar eclipse, we saw so many tourists coming to the Carbondale area. So I'm thinking, you know, why not collect some uh, data and do some research you know, that can benefit our people in the area. So for our approach, we downloaded you know, social media data from X, formerly known as a Twitter, to focus on you know, those tourists coming to the area. So we filtered out the data without location information and ending up with around 500 samples. So by using the software, uh, about the geographic information system and the Python programming language. So we do a data analysis and found out, you know, these samples can really help, you know, their experience uh, in the region. And I was... for example, uh, we can uh, figure out, you know, where and when you know, those tourists came from, uh, visited and left. So we found out uh, the information we collected from 2017 powder solar eclipse can be used for planning in this year's uh, solar eclipse. So one thing I would like to note is that uh, we use the social media data legally re regarded as in the public domain. So the results always are available in the aggregate format. So we always pri prioritize the protection of people's privacy. Mm. You know, I was enjoying looking at some of the research earlier. You were able to figure out seven different clusters where people were gathering around Carbondale to watch the eclipse. Everything from, you know, where people traveled from Nashville and St. Louis and Chicago. I'm curious, are you looking for the same sorts of things again this year? Yes, correct. Yes, last year we found out very interesting patterns. So this year we plan to do a similar study uh, using data from X, uh, you know, formerly known as the Twitter. Plus, we are thinking, you know, to collect the data from other social media channels, such as Instagram, uh, maybe a little bit of Facebook, so that we may have, you know, other perspectives from other social media uh, data platforms. Hmm. Why is this kind of information and this kind of tourism data so important for these small towns? Yeah, so, you know, in our last study, you know, for 2017, you know, we found out uh, some very interesting uh, tourism patterns. You know, for example, most of them arrived uh, in the three-day window around the total solar eclipse day. So they focused largely on a few places, you know, as you mentioned, in those seven clusters, uh, such as SAU, Southern you know, University campus and the stadium, you know, Walker's Bluff, a vineyard, you know, blue sky vineyard. So this year, you know, we would like to check, you know, if the patterns are similar. And uh, in addition, we plan to look into the data from, you know, other social media, you know, platforms. I believe, you know, if we have uh, two years of uh, data, we could uh, have a uh, very good insights uh, into some critical issues, like uh, how to better serve so the tourists, you know, coming to the areas. In the few seconds that we have left, I wanted to ask you, do you have some of your students working on this research with you? Uh, so, sorry, could you say again your question? Do you have some of your students at SIU working on this research with you? Oh, yeah, of course, yes. Yeah, I have a master's student uh, working on, on this research. So exciting. Well, we cannot wait to see the results. Rapu, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you very much.
If you guys at home want to learn more about this research or if you want to check out some of our other Eclipse interviews and stories, you can just head over to our website and click on the As Seen on TV tab.